enjoy seeing what it's like. Just a regular day in the life of the chateau. Normally I get up around seven o'clock, uh, getting ready to make the bakery run, but today I'm up a little bit earlier. I'm trying to upload a video and uh, there's so many people on the internet and the internet's so slow that it's taking forever. So I'm trying to get it going while everybody's sleeping. You know, this is always a beautiful part of uh, waking up in the morning here. Opening the door so the dog can come out. He's still sleeping. The beautiful sunrise. And then of course, the symphony of birds. So wonderful. You can start to see the leaves coming out. Hear the birds. Mr. Bingley's come out for a little run. He's got his breakfast. I've had my coffee. And uh, usually the first part of my day is uh, going to the bakery to go get uh, get some uh, croissant and some pain au chocolat for the students. Also the day's bread. And so I'm gonna jump in the little car and run to Beaujais. It takes about 30, 45 minutes. And uh, sometimes we have friends uh, helping us do it. This, this week there's nobody to drive, so it's me. All right, and we come to the Maison Bernard for our morning bakery. Okay, our guy's been drinking coffee like crazy, so I gotta go bolster the supplies. Normally, we do a lot of shopping at uh, at Super U, Super U, and Aldi, but it's nice to give these guys some business too, and it's right close to the bakery. Ooh, breakfast. Look at this, breakfast. We have students cooking breakfast today. Ethan, Kelsey, breakfast tortillas. What expertise, homemade tortillas. Is that right, Home homemade tortillas? Fantastic. There we are, it's breakfast time. Sun pouring in. We have the table is full. The ladies are eating breakfast. Leslie's in her chair. Bingley's in his chair. No, no, Brent. Let's focus on the first path. Where centuries have passed, and the Israelites were fruitful and multiple. Donkey lying down among the sheep farms wasn't see so good. Well, friends, here we are. We are at the grocery store, and here's Leslie. Hey, Leslie, where are hey, guys. we? Guys, we're at the grocery store. <laughs> and what's it called? Oh, super you. Ooh, <laughs> so fancy. I can't super say it that good, so I'm not even trying. So we're getting some uh, fresh herbs, because mine in my pot outside, we've kind of sheared them one too many times, and it's spring, so they haven't grown very big yet. So we're getting some chives, and check this out. You guys got to see how lettuce is here. They have other lettuce, too. But lettuce is often these big mammoth heads. Check that out. See the bottom? Amazing. It's cool. Yeah, bigger than your head, Les. Bigger than <laughs> Yeah, they're so beautiful. Everything's so green and fresh. Yeah. It is. It looks amazing. Produce shopping is the best. It is. Okay, we're going to go check out the dairy aisle. Let's go. All right. Here we go. So much good here at the grocery store. So you would think that we were going to head down that cold aisle right there, but we're going to take a left, hard left, and then a hard right with the four by four grocery carts. <laughs> okay, oh, here we are. No one needs a gym. No. You just need to have a very full cart. It's a core workout. It is. Okay, so in France, they put eggs on the shelf. You can see how many eggs there are. 
animate ad, they all have different locations that they're from, from the farmers. So for example, this one, this one shows a little picture of a guy and a picture of a farmer over there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'll go close. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Over there. And this one came from that chicken. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> So they're out on the shelf because they don't uh, wash off the protective coating that comes when you take them straight from the hen, uh, which means we get to leave it off the counter. So that's pretty awesome. I like that. Um, also, the milk is the same thing. Well, not exactly the same thing. Um, lots of cream options. The joy of France right there. Mm, so good. So many creams that you wouldn't believe it. Uh, and then the milk is also on a shelf down yonder. Uh, and also the process differently. Once it's open, we have to have it in the fridge. But for now, uh, you can just leave it on the floor until we're ready to drink it. Works yeah. out very well considering our fridge situation. Very true. Less stuff in the fridge. It's a good thing. All right, thing. let's uh, take our milk that we got off the shelf <laughs> yes. and uh, go make lunch. Let's go make lunch. All right. We've got a chop chop. Have Here a we good go. day. See you later. See ya. Okay, we're home. <laughs> And we are going to head into the kitchen. Here we go. I'm going to grab Here the milk. Okay, All right. So Leslie's going to carry the big load and I'll just carry the milk. Ha ha. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we head into the basement door. It's beautiful nonetheless. Downstairs. Again, hard left. Into the beautiful kitchen. So here we go. All right. That's all you get of us. We got to make lunch. <laughs> got some chicken tortilla soup today. Yay. Got some more over here. Oh, it looks good. <laughs> so every day is a little bit different. And uh, one of the complexities of having a program that you're running everything on is uh, that you do jobs like I have to take the van in for an oil change. So uh, they get there and keep it for the day. And I'm uh, walking back. I think Les is going to come pick me up in a bit. And, yep, takes time. And forming his followers then into these new communities called churches. And Paul would occasionally write... All right, beautiful day. And the students are all in class. And uh, so I'm going to take advantage of this time to uh, work on some of our equipment. Uh, with these head trimmers are a little bit underpowered. They're good because they're battery. Uh, and they were a good size, but uh, they're so dull, they won't even cut anything. So I have been watching on YouTube to try to figure out how to sharpen them, and we're gonna give that a go. And it's gonna make some really bad noise. But uh, we'll see. So this is a pretty common occurrence. We have a bird, and I'm trying to get him out. Oh, there he goes. We got him out. Yay, little bird. Okay, this is the moment I've been waiting for. We got three bikes doing the path. Super fun. You know, so much of life is attitude. I um, I got our uh, property taxes in the mail, and uh, and they had they had actually sent them to America, to the house that we had before we bought this one. So it was to the wrong address. So we didn't get the property tax, and as soon as I got it, it came to the states. They they um, they sent another copy to the house in France, and so I ended up with you know a bill for I think seven thousand euro, and then and then ten percent, seven hundred bucks for a late. And so, you know, it's not really their fault. I mean, they don't know what my address is and it's not my fault they used the wrong address. And so, you know, you could be all attitude and mad and frustrated and going with a bad attitude. But I thought, you know, I'm just gonna go pay it. And it's probably not fair, but we'll be all right. And it goes to the town. And so sure enough, I went in and also got a bill for tax habitation for same thing, another. So about a thousand dollars in late fees. And, uh, and I just went in you know, I said, hey, we'll pay it, and thanks, you know, and I kept a good attitude, and the guys were so good to us here. 
they uh, they saw the situation and without even me asking, they offered to waive the thousand dollars in late fees, uh, which you know, <laughs> which much appreciated. Uh, so much in life comes down to attitude. You know, will you will you just kind of keep a good attitude and and or will you let stuff make you mad and angry and and if you just decide to keep the good attitude, sometimes it works out for you. Not always, you know, I was ready to pay the thousand and next time maybe I will. But I'm super thankful uh, for the city of Beaujais and their kindness to us in Eshmire. Uh, we have wonderful neighbors. I am so glad we moved here. And, you know, it's a beautiful place. It's Saturday at the Chateau and uh, uh, so no teaching for me today. And so I'm gonna try to help out a little around the house. We have the students in session. You can see uh, right here that uh, that they uh, have their jobs assigned and they're ready to help out. They've been really good at helping, but of course there's always lots of work to do. And so I'm gonna start off today. I'm gonna try to get two toilets fixed because we have a leaky toilet and then one that's really slow and it's it leaks a bit too. So, you know, we could call the plumber and pay, you know, I don't know, 50 to 100, or we could just pay 100 and change the toilet. And they both are old, so we're just gonna put new toilets in. I know that's very American, but it just seems like the smart move. All right, really the first job of the day is letting Mr. Bingley out. Mr. Bingley, there he is. By the way, we're gonna do a subsequent video on a day in the life of Mr. Bingley at the Chateau because he's, he has such a good life here. All right, go for it. Chris and I working on the toilet. Chris gets the honors. <laughs> <laughs> toilet time. Oh, there's water dripping on my foot. It's full of water. Here it goes. You ready to get it going down? Anybody out there? <laughs> <laughs> and you know, I really thought it was gonna be easier to throw the toilet outside the window than to carry it down two stories when it still has water in it. And honestly, it may still be easier. I'll have to go pick all that up, but oh well. Okay, so it's definitely been some work picking this all up. But on the upside, we did find the clog. We had a toilet that wasn't working, so Saturday was the installation of two toilets. That's one of them. Nice to always have nice new toilets that to work well. All right, and here's the other one. Good, good clean powder room toilet. Solid, works well. All, uh, all 10 of the new toilets are the same, which makes it easier for me to fix them and how they work and install them. And it's time to check on the oil. We're doing great. Look at that, that one's only down, so you can see how big this tank is. We're only down to about there. So that's good. And this one is still completely full because um, the two aren't communicating with each other. So that's good. We've got lots and lots of oil left. All right, I figured this video needed more Leslie and Tanya. So I was coming down to the kitchen where they've been working hard and they're not here, but we can see the plans for lunch, for dinner tonight. Got some potatoes getting ready to cook. It looks like they have a dessert of some sort, apple maybe. And then, I believe that's the wild boar. Good. Here it is. It's a pause gourmand. Oh, I can't quite see it. Nice snack. Mm -hmm. mm. How's the cooking going? It's going. It's good. We cooked up a storm today. We did. Lots of baking and fruit and pastry. And, yeah. Looking forward to it. Wild boar. That's Sanglier. Sanglier, oui. Oui, oui, oui. Dinner time. All right. Food getting ready. I'm bringing it up. Bringing it up. Bringing it up. That's the bell. <laughs> Wild boar. Is it? Okay, oh, that's good news. Mm. Do, you, do you guys feel more manly than than normal? Yeah. I do. <laughs> Wild boar. I'm ready, to, I'm ready to go hunting again. Let's You're go. ready to go hunting. Now Tanner has had two foods that his dad has not had. Two. They're playing a game. Sierra, Mr. Bubs. Oh, there it is. Go get him, Mr. Bubs. 
He's like, I got it. I got it. Oh, there it is. <laughs> okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is, uh, we believe this is a carpenter bee. Um, although someone out there might know, but um, and he's trying to dig. Watch him. He's going to try to, he's trying to dig a hole. He's trying to eat our chateau. You can see him. He's trying to, and there's like little pebbles. You see, he's knocking them out. The impertinence. And by the way, the futility, it's like, it's concrete, man. It's concrete. Find some nice, easy wood if you're a carpenter bee. gentlemen welcome to the second annual uh, dessert bachelorette uh, featuring our very own bachelorette julia fell <laughs> yeah there we go three teams three teams will compete in the dessert bachelorette here comes team number one what have we here Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, it's a lovely dessert Ooh. you know when you think what, what screams Julia? There's a couple things that really just stand out in, in your mind when you're thinking about dessert. And, and one of those things is chocolate. And the other is strawberry. And um, I think we've really captured that. <laughs> okay, so before you, you have the... Uh, <laughs> chocolate mousse and a strawberry compote with um, cream on top and it was so good that the other teams wanted it but we already took it. Bonjour. Aujourd'hui nous avons le Voltaire. C'est mousse chocolat noir, mangerie 64%. Mousse chocolat blanc, vanillé. So what we have here <laughs> is chocolate mousse. With a vanilla chocolate mousse in the middle. <coughs> it was bottomed with a milk chocolate um, wafer and covered in milk chocolate as well. We hope you enjoy. <laughs> Powerful video so far from three powerful teams who want to be the dessert bachelorette's choice. Now let's see what the dessert bachelorette has to say. So here we are, final stages. The crowd abated breath, e eagerly watch. Look at that, you can hear it. It's an audible gasp. Uh, and Julia, um, you've got three beautiful desserts in front of you. Which, Julia, which dessert? Is there one that you can remove uh, from consideration? Oh, no. uh, remove oh. from consideration? <laughs> 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 Oh. How do you feel about this? How do you feel about this? It's green, Julia! <laughs> <laughs> They're not happy about this. They're not happy about this. And it's down to two now, Julia. Which dessert? Which dessert gets their choice? Uh, I'm gonna choose this one. Yeah! Oh! oh! Okay, they're very excited. Very excited. Here's the winning team. Enjoying lovely desserts together. 
very fun.